This is it. This is phase one to getting this old tired LS7, AKA Bald Eagle Machine, AKA Vader, ready to get a brand new, rebuilt, refreshed LS7 to get ready for as many track days as possible in 2025. Today, I'm gonna start the prep work. I'm gonna start taking out the accessories, the intake, all this other stuff that's gonna be in the way for next weekend when my buddies come into town to help me pull the heart and soul of this thing out and get it prepped to take over to the machine shop. Now, the goal is get this motor prepped today as much as we can. We got a few hours uh, approved by the wife. Next weekend, we'll be working on this probably all day, getting the motor pulled out of here, put on an engine stand, and then taken to the machine shop in the coming weeks. I'm hoping that this is gonna be one of the last, last couple videos that we are doing garage videos and we can just get back to racing. I don't wanna continue with the back and forth and the mysteries of what this motor can and can't do and what issues it's experiencing. So we're gonna refresh this thing top to bottom, new bearings, new seals, new piston rings, potentially new pistons. We're probably gonna up the compression a little bit. And a couple other things while we're at it, windage tray from Improved Racing, uh, K-Tech oil pump, which is right here next to me already. And we're gonna upgrade a couple of the components while we're at it, but we're gonna keep a lot of the foundation of what it is right now the same, just refreshed. So let's get into it, no more talking. Let's jump into this thing and start tearing it apart. So we got the motor up on the quick jacks, I mean the car up on the quick jacks, and uh, pretty much what's gonna happen now is I'm just going to start doing a lot of the basic stuff. Um, I'm not gonna pull the hood off just yet because I'll wait for the guys to help me kind of unmount the hood. And I'm gonna find a place to hang it up on the wall while I wait so it doesn't get damaged. Uh, more than likely pull the front bumper just to make everything easier to access. Um, again, I'll probably just leave that for like right before the guys get here next weekend. but. The machine shop and the uh, the race shop wants the motor pretty much intact. They don't want to take the heads off. They don't want to mess around with anything. So primarily, we are going to drain the fluids because obviously if I uh, disconnect my dry sump lines, I'm going to leak oil. So I'm going to um, drain the oil out of it. I'm going to drain the coolant out of it, pull the radiator out, pull the intake manifold off. He doesn't want electronics on it, so I will disconnect the injectors, um, disconnect all the coils. I will... Uh, and just basically go over everything. This is just a quick touch up before next weekend. A lot of this will be done. The bulk of it will be done next weekend. But this is just to get the party started per se <clears throat> on getting this car a little bit uh, step forward. So we have less things to do next weekend when we have the guys here and I'm not bogging them down with little baby crap. Um, key to doing this um, is organization, especially for someone like me who has no clue what the hell I'm doing. Um, I went to Home Depot, I bought a couple of plastic totes to kind of store the manifold and the bigger parts in it so I just don't have parts laying around the whole house. And then tons of Ziplocs. I actually stole those from my wife. Uh, babe, if you're watching this, I'm sorry. Stole those from my wife. Just put all the screws, label them, take your time. And that's kind of why I'm starting a weekend early so I can, you know, meticulously take everything out and individually label everything and make sure that there's a... Uh, Nothing overlooked, basically. You don't want to be trying to put this back together and trying to figure out what bullet goes where or why you're missing parts. So that's what I'm trying to avoid by doing this and, and reduce the amount of overwhelmingness that I'm feeling by just taking on this project as it is. So let's jump into it. Let's see what happens. So I highly doubt this is really going to pick it up. This camera doesn't have that kind of focus. But... As you can see here, this is a new magnetic drain plug that I had put in on my last oil change. There is quite a bit of metal on the tip of this drain plug. It is uh, very fuzzy. Looks like uh, Poly D's haircut. So uh, <laughs> I guess it's good we're pulling this motor. got the drain the oil drained out of it we basically did the two uh oil pan bolts and we did the dry sump lines they're just hanging 
I want to let them kind of slow drip. I'll probably let them drip overnight. We're going to move on to the top of the motor. We're going to start working on uh, taking apart the top, which will be radiator, intake manifold, uh, ignition coils and all that stuff. And then, like I said, I got a bunch of little uh, snack boxes here and a couple other ones here because now I want to make sure that everything I unscrew and stuff like that, I put in their own bags and I properly label them. That way, when I go putting this Lego piece back together, I don't screw anything up. Not sure if you could see it right there, but what I'm doing is, since I'm a noob at what I'm doing, is I am taping up the actual plugs and I'm just kind of labeling. So this is a throttle body, this is a TPS sensor. That way, since I'm removing all the harnesses, I can avoid running into any kind of, uh, you know, trying to piece it back together. It'll make it a little bit more seamless. So I'm just kind of taping them up as I take it apart. And hopefully that'll make my job easier when I go to put it back together. So a little bit of a rant here as I take apart the manifold. Um, you know, the irony is kind of setting in a little bit. The, uh, probably should have uh, released the pressure on the fuel system. The reality is, is that the, the overwhelmingness of kind of what we're walking ourselves into is setting in a little bit and that initial excitement to take apart this car is, is dwindling a little bit. And that's, I would say it's natural. You, you don't know what you don't know in this situation. It's not a situation where, oh, I'm taking apart my car because I know that my alternator is bad, or I know that for a fact, I need to just do bearings, or for a fact that it's such and such problem. We don't know that here. And it's, it's traveling into the unknown and having the situation where this could be a $4,000 project, this could be a $10,000 project. And though I love racing and I want to get back to it, you know, those are, those are major expenses that can really set someone back in their personal lives. So at this point, I am, uh, I've lost a little bit of enthusiasm as I've probably only done two or three steps at this point, but it's just every time I look in the engine bay, I'm reminded that this this could be very this is a very cumbersome job and it's a situation where I really don't know what I'm getting into and anyone that's had that feeling of like you know fearing the unknown this is definitely one of those situations we don't know crap about it and the more we've dug into this car the more it's kind of shown is reared some ugly heads in the process. So I'm going to try to stay optimistic. I'm working. I've been in communication with a really good shop and they did a fantastic job of just kind of making me feel okay with my decision and the fact how they're open to talk about the situation and kind of hear my side and understand that this in essence is a budget build. I'm not the typical Corvette guy that's going to throw 30 grand into this thing and have it parked in my garage, the world's sickest motor. I'm the opposite. I'm going to build this thing just enough to keep it happy, you know, and, uh, and hope for the best. We're going to lose some fuel here. I think the pressure all leaked out the other side, so we might be on the safe side now to pull the fuel rails off. Oof, plenty of fuel. Let me clean that up. Holy cow, there's a lot of fuel in here. I did not anticipate this much fuel. I've taken this off before and it's never had this much gas in it. This might be because I started it up recently to position it where it's at now. 
But I just paid a lot of money to do my floor. The last thing I want is harsh chemicals testing its durability. Yep, it's all over the floor. <clears throat> Clean that up. I didn't record too much without audio because this is the first time I realized the Microsoft. But we got the manifold off the car. Obviously, we have already talked about we drained the fluids. I'm going to pull the radiator out, probably start loosening up the alternator brackets, clearing out the wiring around it. And I'll probably call it quits there. Um, I do have a lunch that I promised I'd go see some friends on. So I just wanted to kind of get the car ahead so the process is a little bit shorter next weekend. I definitely want the guys to be able to see what's kind of going on before I take everything else, start cleaning things out of the way, and then it doesn't look the same that it used to. So let's keep cracking at it. Got, like I said, the manifold's off. It's all a little bit of dirt under it. We're not going to go back down the rabbit hole talking about the last shop that worked on this car. Um, but uh, let's keep going at it. It's all we can do. How good do I look at this angle? So we already got the headers off. We've got the intake manifold out. We've got obviously the coils and all that stuff. And I want to get the radiator out because that'll clear up a lot of space. And then I'll probably take the hood off and kind of call it a day today. Um, and then move on to the next stage, which would be the guys here and tear this thing down. But I'm going to drain the coolant out of it real quick now and get to that stage where we can pull the radiator out. that drains there i took the camera off the tripod real quick um this thing holds about two those two gallons i think of coolant so it's just water so because i've been running water with uh, water wetter in it so i'm just letting that drain i'm gonna pull the whole hood off rest it up on top of the car and then i'll eventually pull the front bumper off as well just for more space and just put it on the back of the car i'm gonna go to harbor freight pick up more of these moving blankets because i only got one of these and you want to protect your car whenever you're kind of leaning on the fenders and stuff like that, especially a car like this one where the fenders are really expensive. So uh, I'm gonna keep cracking at it and I should be wrapping up today in a few minutes. Make an attempt to pull the radiator and fan assembly together to save myself from taking it apart. I don't know how successful I'm gonna be, but we're gonna give it a shot. I got a Take off these two little clips here for the uh, transmission cooler lines. I just use a little pick tool and end up pulling it out. Um, I also got to cover them because I know they're going to leak, which is not going to be ideal. Um, so I'm going to pull that one out and set something up to cover it. Another pick down here that I've got to get to. Another transmission line, and then the bottom radiator hose. And then I'm going to try to pull this thing out in its entirety with the fans on. Worst case, I'll pull the fans off. It's just two 10 millimeter bolts. But if I can avoid taking off two, K, two bolts, I will. Got it so pinned. It shifted against. It shifted against the car.
Oh, we've got day one in the bag. We've removed intake manifold, intake throttle body, headers, radiator, um, electric fans. We have drained all the fluids, disconnected the dry sump lines, removed some of the wiring. And uh, this is just prep work for next week. And next weekend is D-Day, where we actually pull the old bald eagle's heart out of the unit. But over throughout the week, I'll come back out here every now and then, take a couple more parts off the car, it clear out the wiring, try to make it as easy as possible for when the guys come, we just hook up and pull it out. Um, I'll put the motor plate on it sometime this week as well. Maybe record some of that, maybe not. I was gonna remove the hood today. I put the blanket up on the car, but i rather just with the guys when they come here, one guy on bolts one side, I bolt the other side, we carry it onto the thing. It's another 30 second delay, not a big deal, but I'm gonna lower the quick checks, call it a day. If you've watched this far, I appreciate you guys. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share this video. The next video will be pretty long. We're going to be, you know, there's gonna be a lot of process in place there. I'm gonna have someone actually holding the camera. So I don't gotta worry about stopping every 30 seconds to move the camera around and stuff like that. So it should be a pretty cool video. Make sure you tune in for the next one. So hit the bell notification icon on the channel. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.